We are in Venice, Italy, about to try street food. And yes, we are eating affordable food on the go in Venice. Bundles like a fresh full pizza and soda under 13 euros. Homemade gelato, classic Italian bread with fresh mortadella and toppings, as well as a pasta that has people lined up for blocks and tiramisu. So as we say here in Italy, andiamo. We have made it to Baccaro de Bicerri. This is a sandwich shop which is close to the Rialto Bridge. It's in a very popular zone here in Venice and they have everything from sandwiches to soft drinks. This is ideal if you want to have something to snack on, to have for lunch or to have for dinner. Plus, they have really, really good prices. We're going to go inside. We're going to check out what they have, order something that we can have on the go, but that still has that Italian taste to it. There is a full menu and the order is prepped fresh. They also have super cheap wine and free Wi-Fi. So we walked straight down and they told us that we could come and that we could sit here to eat. So look, there's a spot right there. We have been told you are not allowed to do this. But look how many people are here, so we're gonna do it. So this is where we're going to come and eat. Mm. Really good. So it has the pesto, the mozzarella, the tomatoes. This is the mortadella, the bread. This is like arugula. It's really, really yummy. You can definitely taste the flavors. It's at the perfect temperature for, for 12 euros. Look at how much you're getting. And then on top of that, we've got a soda. It's a really good bargain if you're on the go and you're trying to just eat something that's delicious. I think it brings all the flavors of Italy together. Definitely for me, it's a place that I'll come back to. Oh, and by the way, they have wines there for um, 18 euros and those wines are local to Venice and they have really really good reviews. This location where we came to sit, well you can see it for yourself, there's a whole bunch of gondolas that are making their way through here. It's very relaxing, it's shaded, it's, there's a nice breeze, you can definitely come here and sit down even though you're not supposed to be in the sandy set but everyone's doing it. Maybe you get lucky like us, but it's a really nice place to come enjoy things. Oh my god, you have to come. Now, let's go on to the next place. We just made it to Il Dodge. Il Dodge, but this is a place where they have gelatos, they have slushies, and it's right by the canal. They have a menu that's in English, which is awesome. And then this is the ice cream that they have. Choice of cones, the prices, and then if you want to have soft drinks and if you want to have a bread. Okay, let me know in the comments which ice cream would you get? All of them. Yeah, they all look good. Um, Fragola. Caramello. Caramello, yeah. And it. So we're having caramel and then what flavor is that? That one looks good. Okay, let me have that one. The, the other one. Yeah. Okay, so if you want to enjoy this ice cream, there's actually a little place right next to it where people just come and sit and you can enjoy it. So this is the first spot, first impressions. It's a, it's a very good cherry flavor. It's not the type of cherry flavor that tastes like Robitussin. Robitussin, I always get the name wrong. Robitussin. <laughs> um, so let's try the caramel one. Mm.
it's salty. It's salty, but you can, it's very creamy at the same time. It's really, really good. And I like the fact that you can sit here. You cannot sit there. Enjoy it. So yeah, but you shouldn't. Okay, but. It's good. How much did you pay for this? Four euros. Four euros. You get a decent amount. And so my friends, let's go on to the next location. We made it to Pizza Al Volo. This is a very inexpensive pizza place where you can get a box of pizza on the go. They, they have huge slices of pizza at a very affordable price and they have lots of options to choose from. We're about to go inside, look at the menu and grab a drink as well because I am super thirsty. Inside you're going to see a huge menu displaying combos and drinks that you can get everything is very reasonably priced and something that i noticed is that the pizza is made fresh the ingredients everything is tossed together and made fresh they also have drinks available this is the box of pizza we got two sodas open wow so this entire pizza i want you to see the size of my hand but this entire pizza and two cokes how much 9.50 9.50 9 euros and 50 cents for all of this in the plaza we are sitting on a bench just look at this view it's very chilled under a tree to enjoy this delicious pizza hello everyone so we are at Rome this is a place where they have gelato where they have frappes where they have a lot of sweets for everyone in the family to enjoy. It is in the middle of a plaza. As you guys can see, I'm going to be linking the name of the plaza down here for you guys. But if you're just walking around Venice and you want to cool off or even during the winter, you want something that's indulging and delicious, this is the ideal place. The inside is very clean, very neat and you can get it on the go and just enjoy a wonderful moment with your loved ones with nothing better than something sweet and memorable. My friends, this is the best gelato I had in Italy. It is not displayed. Instead, it is kept inside a metal container. This is the it place if you want to have gelato in Venice. It's 9.20 p.m. and there's still daylight. I wanted to give you a review on Grum. This has been by far, I think this is the best gelato we've had, right? This is the best gelato. How much was it, Sandy? Uh, it was a medium, four and a half euros. Okay, and then that's for the... Gelato. So how much was the... Um... Same price. No, the frappe, how much was it? Same price. So the total? Nine euros. So... Um, the cone is history. He didn't eat it all, um, but I got this, which is a frappe, and it's delicious. So yummy. And it matches my outfit. We have made it to one of the best restaurants where you can get pasta on the go with delicious options to choose from. This place is packed with people. You have to make a line outside. It's like a little hole in the wall, but the food is incredible. I'm going to take you guys inside and I'm going to show you what I got. I'm going to be linking everything down in the info box. This spot is worth the wait. The food is very delicious. Everything is made fresh. It's very, very delicious. And they have a ton of drinks and menu options to choose from. This was by far the best food I had in Venice. They give you a number and then with that number you stand outside and you wait for your turn. If you're in Venice, you have to visit this spot. Hey guys, so we are at the Rialto Bridge um, because there was really nowhere where we could sit. I did ask um, for a place where we could sit around here, but it was not a good idea. I wasn't treated very good. But um, at the restaurant, they did tell us about a plaza. The only thing is it was one of those directions like right, left, right, left, straight, left, right. <laughs> so we totally forgot and it was packed. So they didn't have, um, you know, as much time to really guide us as to where they could sit. That's something else. At that restaurant, there are no chairs. So this is something that you have to get on the go. And most likely you're gonna have to have lunch standing up. First impressions, even though there's wind. 
I got a carbonara. I really like it. It's for, good. For 10 euros, 10 of 10. And I think the line spoke for itself. So it is, it is good. Recommended. This is divine. This type of cheese, if I've ever had it, I don't remember, but this has been probably the best cheese that I've had. This is delicious, guys. Delicious. When I'm telling you that this is probably the it place that you have to visit, I'm not lying. You get a lot of food for the amount of money that you pay. It's really yummy and highly recommend it. I am here at I Tre Mercanti. This is a delicious shop where they have the best tiramisu in Venice. I'm going to take you guys inside because this is a dessert that you can have on the go. It's really, really popular here. At this shop, everything that's on display where they make the tiramisu is homemade. They also sell wine. They also sell cookies. If you want to buy something to take overseas, you can find a lot of things here. If you're going to go, make sure you go with enough time and that you don't go close to the time they close because when we went the day before, the couple in front of us got the last tiramisu. Flavor-wise, this tiramisu was impeccable. It was delicious. I can see why it's a staple in Venice. So it's past 9 p.m. and there's still daylight. So I'm gonna end the video right here. I hope you guys subscribe if you made it till the end of the video. Remember that I'm going to have videos coming up of my cruise with Royal Caribbean through Italy, Greece, and Croatia. I'm also going to be showing you a lot of videos on Venice. So I hope you subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.